Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a full face to first impressions and I am super excited because I've always wanted to do one of these videos but I've never actually done one so while well, I have but they haven't really been true first impressions because I'd used a few of the products so the only products in this video that I have tried is going to be a mascara which I haven't even grabbed yet. I know I have new mascaras but I can't find them anywhere so please excuse that. I'm really really hot so if I look a little bit flushed that'd be why. I'm just going to really quickly zoom you guys in and we're going to get right into it. Starting off with face, I'm going to go in with a primer and I know this is kind of cheating because it's a sample but I actually wanted to buy or like redeem my Sephora points on the sample size of this but I didn't have it so they just gave it to me in pots but this is the Too Faced Hangover X Primer and I haven't used it yet so I've just got a little bit, it's probably too much. I don't know, I heard really good things about it so I want to give it a go. It smells very nice, I'm just going to massage it in all over my face. Hopefully this isn't too, too moisturising because I am using a BB cream, so hopefully everything's not going to slip and slide everywhere. This feels kind of similar to the, um, like the Nivea Men's after Aftershave in the sense that like it goes on really smooth and then it sort of starts to like, not go tacky, but I don't know if you can tell it's like gone slightly sticky, which I think I'm going to like. Next for my foundation or my base, I'm going to be using a BB cream because I just got this and this is the Holika Holika Aqua Petite Jelly BB Cream and I had heard many, many things about this product so I thought I would pick it up. It does come with a sponge but I read that that is crap so I'm not even going to bother. And to be honest with BB creams, I prefer to use my fingers so it just comes in a jar like this. It's basically just a BB cream and it's kind of got like, I don't know if you guys can tell but it's got like a really weird jelly consistency as you'd expect. This is in the lightest shade which I believe is shade 20. Just got um, a compact to look into so if you're wondering what I'm looking at that's what. I guess I'm just going to blob some over my face. I don't know if this is too much but whatever. I'm going to do one side at a time as I'm sure you guys can tell. So the colour doesn't look too bad for me but usually with or oh, maybe it's too dark I don't know, usually BB creams blend in really well anyway. I'm just going to pop this all over. I think I got a little bit too much, but that's okay. I really like the way this is blending in. I don't know if it's the primer, but it's kind of going tacky as well, which is good, because I think it means that it'll stay. And I really like this coverage. Alright, so I've got that over one half of my face. Excuse my eyebrow, I put the product right through it. Um, but I really, really like the coverage, as you can see. Again, I should have put it on this side of my face because this side of my face has a big pimple, but um, you guys can see that it's done a really good job of covering up. I have similar sort of redness around here and around some discoloration around there, and you can see on this side of my face it's covered it decently well. I mean, it's not full coverage by any means, but in the springtime and the summertime, I generally like to have lighter coverage. I mean, I'm a light coverage person, but during the warmer months, I like to have much lighter coverage. But yeah, I'm impressed, so I'm just going to go ahead and match up this side and I'll be right back. So I really, really love that. It's got kind of like a natural skin tone finish. This side is actually set down really well. It feels like I've just got... My god, it actually feels amazing. It feels like I've just got a moisturiser on, like it's not too sticky, it's not tacky or anything, whereas this side, because I just applied it, you can see it's a lot dewier. But it kind of goes down to like a skin skin like matte I guess you'd say. Um, the colour is pretty decent, I mean it actually matches my body but my neck is like ridiculously white so I will just apply some of this to my neck um, in a second. But yeah I'm really impressed. I'm really bummed I thought this video was like all first impressions but I just realised I don't have an under eye concealer so I'm just going to use an old one that I haven't used in a while. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I'm sorry guys I really thought that this was like an entirely new product but apparently not. So I'm just going to conceal under the eye I don't really get that many concealers as PR, and when I do, they don't match. So, most of the stuff that I'm showing you, actually, not a lot of it is actually PR. I think only two things are PR, but I haven't bought a concealer in a while, so, oh well. So it's not blending out as easily as it normally does. I don't know if it's because I'm using my finger, or if because the combination of the BB cream and the primer is really tacky or what but it's just so not blending out as easily as it normally does. I was just about to powder my face until I remembered that I had this and this is brand new and I really wanted to try it out for you guys. This is the Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Colour Bold Illuminating Liquid Highlighter in Golden Kiss 01 and there is a chance that this is going to be too dark for me but we'll give it a go. It's basically just a liquid highlighter in one of those 
I think it's called like a mesh packaging where you press on it and the product comes off but I can see a little bit up there on the lid so I'm actually just going to use the stuff from the lid. Haven't heard anyone talk about this yet because it is really really new so this is like a full first impression. This is what the colour looks like. I think it might be too dark but kind of scared. Let's put it on my nose. It's not too dark, thank goodness. I thought it was going to be like way too dark. I think it's too dark. I don't know if you guys can see, but I feel like when it's like this it's really pretty, but I feel like when I look straight on it looks like I've got blush up there, which I don't know, am I just imagining it? Can you guys tell me? I'm going to counterbalance that by applying lots of bronzer and just do like a really bronze look, but I freaking love it. If you guys are like darker than me by maybe like two shades, I think it would be perfect, but for like super fair people, I think it might be a little bit too dark. But I do really like it and the formula is awesome so this is a must if you are a little bit darker. Now I'm going to powder. I'm going to be using my NARS Light Reflecting Pressed Powder in Crystal and I'm really really excited. I haven't actually used this so disregard the packaging. If you saw my video where I hauled it you would have seen that I couldn't actually um, get the product off and it like made a skin over top of it or something. So I haven't actually used it yet but... We'll see how we go. So I think that that powder is just giving me a really slight sheen like over my forehead. It just looks more natural, um, a little bit more of like a dewy finish. I really, really like it. So I don't really know what else I can say. Next I'm going to be using my Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer. This is in the shade Sweet Tea. I think there's only one shade. I'm just going to use it with the same brush that I just used to powder my face. But I'm going to be applying a bronzer with it. So I'm not going to go over the whole face. I've heard really great things about this, so I'm super duper excited to finally be using it. Oh, okay, that's really pigmented. This brush is amazing, by the way, not a first impression, but I really, really like it. I might have gone a little bit heavy with the bronzer today. Whoopsie. Okay, so wow, um, I've got way too much bronzer on right now, so don't mind me, I'm just bronze queen right now, but okay. Okay, so I've gone a little bit cray with the bronzer, but we're going to roll with it. I don't know if I like it. I mean the bronzer itself is like nice but I think I've gone like seriously overboard so why not go overboard on highlight? I'm just going to use one that I already know that I love. I don't have any other new ones unfortunately so I'm just going to pop this onto the high points of my face just to go even more crazy like why not? Seriously why not? Moving on from how bronzed I am to eyebrows. I am so excited to be trying this out. This is the Billion Dollar Brows Brows on Point Make Micro Waterproof Brow Pencil. And it's essentially a super skinny brow pencil. I'm sure you guys can think of many other um, alternatives, I suppose you could say. And this is in the shade Taupe, which when I received these, I got Taupe and I got Light Brown, I think. Or Taupe, yeah, Taupe and Light Brown. And I was like, man, why would they send me these two colors? Like, they're way too light. And I swatched light brown and it was like super light. And I swatched taupe and it's this colour. So if you have blonde hair, taupe actually might be too dark. You might want to go for light brown. But anyway, I'm going to give this a go. Um, I'm guessing it'll be similar to the Anastasia one. See, it is super duper pigmented. like no issues doing hair like strokes with this. That is super pigmented like I feel like I'm barely touching my eyebrows and I'm getting so much product which is great but I think I'm applying a little bit too much. Alright so my brow is super sharp. I haven't had brows this sharp in ages so I'm really really liking that. The only thing that's kind of hard is trying to fill in like those super bold parts. So like near sort of to my tail, sort of like in this area, it's quite um, sparse. So I can't really fill that in with this because it's so thin. So this might be when you want to invest in like a brow pen um, a brow powder as well, but I'll make it work. So I've just used the brows on point to do my brows and I feel like my brows are on point and I really, really like the way they turned out. Um, I will say that the colour is like perfect, but if you're looking for like a normal taupe, like a grey brown blonde taupe. This is not it. I have really black eyebrows and this colour is perfect so I have no idea what their dark brown would look like. So I don't know what you'd want if you were blonde. Um, so maybe do some investigation into the shades. I'll put more info down below if I can find it. Brow gel is kind of brow gel to be honest. Um, unless it sucks, in which case it sucks. So, sorry. I don't have a new one to try. I do really like the Billion Dollar Brow one. I just 
don't know where mine is. I got it like probably about a year ago. Moving on to eyes, I'm going to be using a palette that I'm not going to lie, I've used like three shades from, four shades from, but I'm going to be doing a totally different look today. If you guys saw my last video, which is my current favourites, you would have seen that I had like a really cool tone eye look and I was using this palette, well I used this palette to create it, and this is the Stila Eyes of the Window Eyeshadow Palette in Mind, and I bought this months ago and I only just started using it, well, I only just did a look using it, so I actually haven't, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I haven't touched any of the warmer shades in the bottom two rows, so I'm going to be using those today to create a look. I'm going to start off with that shade there, which is called Wit, I'm also going to be pulling in this shade here, which is called Genius. Um, and I'm going to be using those two sort of through the crease and then I'm going to be using Genius which is the lighter brown mixed with the cream at the top called Brilliance on the brow bone. So I'm just going in with Wit at the moment and it's just got such great colour payoff. Like look at that. Absolutely adore this palette. I and mean, I haven't used the shadow before, I just, you know, expecting from the others that I've tried from it, it'll be super amazing. I was looking for an all matte palette and I picked this one over the Tartlet because the Tartlet is more purpley mauve and as much as I love purpley mauve looks, it's just not me, like I much prefer warm and I feel like there's probably like seven warm shades in here. Well, kind of like eight if you could include that and then like four truly, truly cool shades. Um, I don't know, I don't, I don't think I would have gotten as much use out of the Tartlet and I've done like two looks with this, well, this is my second look, so I'm in the process of doing my second look with this and I feel like the quality on this is impeccable and I do not regret my choice. So looking at the palette, I'm going to be taking this shade which is called Understanding and I'm just going to pack that all over my eyelids. I just kind of want to have a really simplistic look. I'm just using an Artiste, it's an Artiste brush. Yep, it's called the 30 Small Shadow Brush and this is actually a first impression too, not that anyone probably cares, but I really like this shade that I'm putting on the lid because it's like slightly sort of pinky. I don't know, a little bit more pinky, whereas the one that I've got on my crease is a little bit more orangey. I know this look is super duper simple, but this is just what I've been loving at the moment. And I actually have to go to school after this, so I don't want to look super cray. I'm just going to grab the really, really rich chocolatey brown there, which is called Creativity, just that one there. And I'm just going to pick up a touch, a touch of this, and I'm just going to blend that along upper lash line. This brush probably isn't the greatest choice for it but I will make it work. So I don't know how much of that last part was in frame and my camera also died so I don't know when it died but basically what you guys missed if you missed anything was along my lash line I've just smudged this shade here which oh hello is called okay this Oh my lord, are you serious? This shade here, which is called Creativity, and I put it along my lower lash line as well. So to finish off the look, I'm just going to take that first shade there, and I'm going to really heavily pack that into my inner corner. So I'm using that same brush, but I've just dusted it off, and I'm just going to pack that in the inner corner, just to sort of highlight that area. I don't know if you guys can really see, but it's just sort of quite intense but I wanted a really intense but matte highlight. Taking that matte brown that we used in the crease, I think it might have been called Wit, and I'm just going to blend that along my lower lash line just to make sure that it's all well blended and cohesive. So it's a super simple look but hopefully you guys can see how crazy pigmented the eyeshadows are. To finish off the eyes, I'm just going to use a mascara. Like I said, I don't actually have a new one so I'm just going to be using the Benefit Roller Lash but just any mascara. I don't see huge differences in mascaras, so I'm not that fast that I don't have one. Sorry guys, but I just don't have a new mascara that I can find, so I'm just going to go for this one today. Okay, so now that the eyes are finished, I wish I had done more coverage on the face. But one good thing is that with the eyes finished, the bronzer doesn't look so crazy in my opinion. Do you guys feel me there? I feel like my face just looks really nicely bronzed now that my eyes and eyebrows balance it out. For lips, I want to use this. This is a little sample that I got at um, Sephora. This is the Bite Beauty... I don't know what it's called... Matte Cream Lip Crown and Glass, which is like ice cream or ice something glass. G-L-A-C-E. Anyway, I'm going to pop that on. This is my first time trying it. Love the way that it's so thin at the tip. So I've just dabbed that off a little bit because it's a little bit darker than I wanted. And I'm just going to pop this on top. This is a Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade April. This is one of the 
shimmery ones i'll put the full name down below and with that on this is the finished look so really really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i'm impressed with almost everything the only things that i'm kind of iffy on is the powder and i don't really know how i feel about the bronzer because I don't know if it was me or if the colour's just not good on me but it just didn't look how I wanted it to but now I kind of like it so let me know what you guys think. I particularly really really loved the eyeshadow palette and the eyebrow pencil. Those were amazing. If you wanted to know the names of any products that I mentioned I will leave them listed down below just in case you didn't hear what I said because I have an accent I know. And if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it helps me out so so much. Once again I really really hope that you guys enjoyed. I love you all so much and I'll see you all next time. Bye.